Clouds. What's going on Spartans? Welcome back. Holy crap, today is an update day and it's an exciting update guys. Um, if you missed the video on the overview of today's update, that'll be out very shortly here. Um, I actually uploaded it but then took it down because there was a mistake. So in case you missed it, it will be back up um, very shortly. So stay tuned for that. But guys, in the meantime, everyone's talking about all the new stuff. Um, the new level 4 Lava Hounds, the ability to attack other people and dang it, I am out of gems. Supercell, you always know how to steal my money. Damn it. All right, so I spent $50, which I said I would never do again, and here I am doing it again. Ay, jeez. I swear to God, YouTube starts to cost me more than it makes me. <laughs> but anyway, guys, the biggest thing right now is these baby dragons. What is going on? The miner and the baby dragon are now able to be made? Are you kidding? Those are the Clash Royale troops. This is a super bold move to like incorporate their games together, which I was super shocked on. And to be honest, don't know how I feel about it. But they do have an interesting ability. Um, I've never used them before, guys. This is my first attack, and I'm going to be attacking Atlanta. She is new to the clan, but she's a friend of mine in real life. So she is going to be getting destroyed here. We'll also have to find out how many tries it takes to actually, like, two or three star. So I don't know how strong these guys are, but look, if you spread out the dragons, they do enrage themselves and do more damage. So that is super key. As soon as they get close to each other, they stop having that extra rage, which I don't understand, but I guess whatever, it works out. Anyway... So the bottom line, though, is to keep them spread out as much as possible. And um, I'm not an air raider, guys, so you could probably tell that pretty clearly from my rating that I normally never, ever use air troops, like, at all. I don't think I've used an air troop in a year. Like, I use nothing but Garch, or I use, like, some mixture of, like, Hogs, Valks, Wizards, that kind of stuff. I use, like, ground troops only. Um, just because I, I don't know, just a preference, I guess. But if you guys want to see more... Air stuff, I can do that. If you want to see some more of my ground attacks, I'm down to do more of those. I'll be being more active, as you can see in the channel. But don't think it's going to be an everyday video thing. Um, I'm just really trying for this update to get some videos out for you guys. Because I know you're going to be as active as I am. Which is awesome. And I love it. And here we go. This queen better go back inside this base and go kick some butt. There she goes. Alright. We have business, guys. It's about to happen. 48%. We're going to get the 50 for sure. There it is. And let's see if we can get in the center here. I'm going to pump my king up. There it goes. He's going in. He's going in. Come on, Golem. Get in there and help out. Do something. I don't think I'm going to get it, guys. Wow. Yeah, no. I'm not going to get a two-star here. This is devastating. I can't believe this. Come on. All right. I'm going to have to make her poster. Ugh, I'm going to have to make her poster base again. That's embarrassing. Sorry for that fail, guys. We'll get a second star under this next time. I promise you that. Um, just never have used those baby dragons, as I said. And it's been a long time since I used Lava Hounds. And I was also testing out the cloning spell, as you can see. Um, I've been playing with that a lot, just trying it out, because it's been, you know, it's new today. So I'm trying to see if there's any really good uses for it. I'm going to be using it with my Garching tactics. So that should be pretty interesting, in my opinion. I'm thinking I may bring a few hogs with Garch, and I may use the cloning on the hogs. So let me know what you guys think about that. But I think if I drop four hogs and clone them, it should do some extra good work. Um, might be an interesting way to play the game, right? And then bring like four lightning spells. And uh, that should do it. I think that should be a pretty epic force actually. I'm going to try that out. I'll let you guys know if it actually does kick butt or if it's just a lame excuse for a new strategy. Um, here we go though. We're going to try one more time. We're going to do a little bit differently. You can see I'm just streaming them along really carefully now. Um, just placing one Lava Hound down and like three or four dragons at a time. And another Lava Hound and three or four dragons at a time. Um, so there you go. Just placing those dragons out there. They are all raging out, which is awesome. And then here is going to come my heroes from the bottom with a couple extra dragons. I'm going to bulk them up here. Um, let that golem from the clan castle lead the charge. Hopefully he can help out. We haven't used our clone yet, so we're going to use that right here in these dragons under our rage. So let's see what happens. There they are. And we're going to drop that clone. Hold on a second. Let's freeze. Okay, so this is a pretty good scenario. There goes the clone. And there's a couple clone dragons right there. You can see those two kind of ghosty looking ones in the middle.